Oh boy, there's a lot of bowls here. I can't even see the script. That's better. That's better. Hello and welcome to an all a special all bowl episode of Primetime Sports Weekly this week, where we will be predicting the art. In our opinion, the 21 best bowls to happen in college football this season. I'm Griffin. And I'm Zach, and that play was our terrible pun of the bowls. So let's get started with the first bowl that starts today, the New Mexico Bowl. Uh, what's your prediction? Um, I'm going to go with Arizona because they've got a, they probably got a bigger fan base because they're a bigger name team. Yeah, I think Arizona's going to beat Nevada today. starts at 1 o'clock today. It might be over when this is released, though. Yep. But that's our prediction. So, yeah. Um, we have the Las Vegas Bowl, Bo Boise State and Washington. Griffin, what do you think? I think Boise State's going to win this one, mm, mainly because they're a better team. They've yep. been a better team all season. Washington just can't really compete with them. And the next is the Belk Bowl between Duke and Cincinnati. Um, going with Cincinnati. I don't know. I think Duke might win this yeah. one. I mean, they're from the ACC. I know Cincinnati's been good all That's season true. from the Big East. Duke's never really been... A bigger named football team is yeah, there. Cincinnati, basketball? yeah, Cincinnati does have a bigger football uh, organization than Duke, but I think Cincinnati's record is better than Duke. Yeah, Cincinnati was ranked for most of the season, but Duke usually goes like something like one and eleven in football yeah. seasons, and this year they've actually made a bowl, so, so I think that could drive them enough to beat Cincinnati. It's, it's gonna be a good game. Mm -hmm. Next, the Holiday Bowl: Baylor and UCLA. Griffin? I'm going with Baylor, definitely, on this one. Mm. I don't know. They just appeal to me. I mean, Robert Griffin the third last season. They still have their mm. wide receiver from last season, whatever his name mm. is. Forgot it. <laughs> I'm going with UCLA, only because they don't have... Baylor wasn't the team that they were last year, because, obviously, Robert Griffin isn't on the team anymore. Uh, Yeah. Nah, Baylor's going to win. I'm sorry. But next is the Russell <laughs> Athletics Bowl, Virginia Tech and Rutgers. I'm going with Rutgers. I'm going with Virginia Tech. Hi. Rutgers, oh. Rutgers has had way too many close calls this season, being in the Big East, too. I mean, I know they've been ranked, but still, they've had way too many close calls for me. Like, mm -hmm. just like Kentucky in basketball, yeah. way too many close calls leads them to not being ranked anymore because they lost a few. Uh, yeah. Nice. Right. <laughs> Virginia Tech is going to win this one for sure. All right. The Pinstripe Bowl played at Yankee Stadium, Syracuse, and West Virginia. Griffin, what do you Syracuse. think? Syracuse. We can tell. Um, I'm going with West Virginia. Syracuse. Because. All right, why? Because, I mean, out of the Big East, yes. no one thinks they're going to be a good team. Mm. But Nobody. Nobody thought they were going to be so a good team. So you think it's going to be an upset? Definitely. Yeah. I mean, Geno Smith, like, Heisman hopeful at the start of the season, throwing mm. for, what, like 9,000 yards in one game or something? 900 touchdowns? Like, yeah. and, and then he just went downhill right, straight from there. Like, you cannot... Yeah. Beat that's, Syracuse. That's Plus, Syracuse beat like Louisville this season, who was ranked. That was a big upset. Was and big I think upset. going into a bowl will drive them to beat uh, West Virginia. I think that it's going to be West Virginia only because even though Syracuse has uh, done that upset against Louisville, it's not going to happen against West Virginia. I think Geno Smith will redeem himself on the last game. All right, the Alamo Bowl now between Texas and Oregon State. Yeah, they both have the same record, so it's going to be a pretty good game. I'm going to go with Texas Longhorns. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, Texas for They have for a sure. huge fan base, and they, they, have a pretty good, they have a good team. They do. Yes. All right, Buffalo Wild Wings Bowl. TCU and Michigan State. I think this one's going to be Texas Christian University. <laughs> Coming out of Texas, definitely the Horned Frogs I are going to win this. I mean, Michigan State, like, yeah, they were good, but we saw them, like, ranked high at the beginning of the season, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure, and they went down from there. I think this will be an upset. Uh, Music City, Tennessee, NC State, and Vanderbilt. I'm going with NC State and a big win. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go with NC State in this one, too. Vanderbilt hasn't really impressed me all year. Mm. Uh, the Sun Bowl between Georgia Tech and USC now. I'm going with... I mean, Georgia Tech. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, USC had Matt Buckley. We no one has any idea what happened to him. He sort of he fell. went away. Yeah, yeah, he was like number one Heisman at the start of the season. Mm -hmm. Everyone thought Heisman hopeful. Every like you see USC USC was ranked number one at the start of the season. Yeah. 
Like, they had huge expectations. They were going to win the national championship, some yeah. people even said, and then Mac Barkley got hurt. Yeah, and now and his season just went downhill. fell off the face of the earth. Exactly. Yeah. And Georgia Tech will be too much for them, I think, coming out of the ACC championship game. All right, the Liberty Bowl, Tulsa and Iowa State. I'm going with Tulsa. I'm going with Iowa State here. Why? They're joining the Big East, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. So is Tulsa, actually. Yeah, so. All right, I might have got that mixed up. Maybe. <laughs> but Iowa State, I mean, I've seen them play a lot this season. I don't yeah. know why I've I seen just, them play. They've been on TV, and I think their team is just going to be think, overpowering. Them I think Tulsa hasn't really been uh, mentioned a lot this season. They've been mentioned a couple times, but I think that they're going to surprise everyone this bowl and get a win. All right, now is the Chick-fil-A Bowl. Chick-fil-A Bowl. <laughs> Clemson and, and LSU. Clemson. I'm going with Clemson also. LSU, uh, Tyron Matthew, not on the team anymore. Uh, they haven't done anything this year. I mean, yes, they've signed the, they've signed back their coach for seven years, but that doesn't mean anything. They haven't performed. Yeah, LSU, like, the SEC has always been the biggest conference ever, mm -hmm. and everyone's been good out of there, and this year, like, Alabama and Georgia were the two powerhouses in the uh, SEC, and LSU, I don't think, can match up to Clemson coming out of the ACC, which is turning into a good football conference as long er, as well, along with the Big East. <laughs> Hi. Uh, the heart of Dallas, Oklahoma State and Purdue. What are you thinking? I'm going with Oklahoma State, I think. Me too. Because, I don't know. Yeah, they've, just, just they've been a consistent team all year. They've, we've never really had any complaints. Purdue just doesn't appeal to me, I no. guess. I don't know. Now the yeah. Outback Bowl is Michigan and South Carolina in what should be a great game, yeah. I think. I'm and thinking. I'm going to go with the Gamecocks of South Carolina too. in this one for sure. Marcus Lattimore, outstanding player. And he's out, been out for the season since like week seven or something, so that sucks. <laughs> but oh, well. South <laughs> but South <laughs> Carolina, they've... Like, they were a good rank team. They lost Marcus Lattimore, but they still withstood the competition. Yeah. Withstood, withstanding. Yeah. Something like that. I don't know. Something All like right. that, yeah. Now but South Carolina's definitely going to beat Michigan. Like, Denard Robinson. Yeah, he's not. Not, not the best player. I think he was a Heisman hopeful yeah. for sure at the start of the season. A lot of people thought so. so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. he didn't perform right. as he was supposed yeah. to. I, I don't know. I'm going with South Carolina. Yeah. Now the all important BCS championship bowls. BCS First bowls. one, just the all important BCS bowls coming up. All right. First one, the Rose Bowl, Wisconsin and Stanford. I'm going with Stanford. I am too because they have they, they have had a better, a better record. record. Yep, they had a better record all season. Yeah. And I think I mean they were in the uh, Pac-12 bowl championship. Mm. Uh, the Pac-12 championship. Yeah. <laughs> Can't speak. Right. And they played a close game against UCLA, and I think they're definitely going to beat Wisconsin here. Right. Now the Sugar Bowl between Florida and Louisville. I'm going with the Gators. Florida. I'm going with Florida also. I mean, we yeah. talked about Louisville losing to uh, Syracuse. Syracuse earlier this season. That was a huge upset, and they what they lost by like 20 points too. Yeah. So I don't. Th I think Florida's definitely going to over. Mm. Uh, yeah. Overdominate Louisville, overpower. Yeah, that's that's so, it. Now the Fiesta one. Bowl between Oregon and Kansas, Kansas State, State, I think, is going to be the best game we see. Yeah, besides better, BCS, better than the BCS national think championship. So? I think this like should have been the BCS national championship because Oregon is definitely going to win this one no. too. I mean, their offense Kansas has State. just been insane this season. I'm going with Kansas State only because Colin Klein, uh, beginning of the season, wasn't really a big name. He redeemed himself, and now he's a finalist for the Heisman rankings. I think Kenyon Barner is going to beat them at running back for sure. I, I don't know. I think yeah. they're going to run it all Dumb. over Kansas State. Yeah. I think they're going to throw it all over Kansas I th I just think they're going to uh, – this is going to be that's gonna a be close a, game. That's going to be a really good game. A close high-scoring game. I think I think Oregon's going to take it, though, by a touchdown or two. All right. The Orange Bowl, no Northern Illinois and Florida State. I'm going with Florida State. I'm going with Northern Illinois. I mean, we saw them come out of nowhere to yes. make a BCS bowl. Like, they just showed I up. Hey, we're in. <laughs> so I, I think they're, that's gonna that's gonna drive them. That's gonna give them the motivation 
to beat this Florida State team who has had their ups and downs this season. I'm going with Florida State only because I'm not I don't think the record will matter. I mean Florida State isn't doesn't have a better record than Northern Illinois, but I think there's gonna be a bit of an upset here. Uh, now the Capital One Bowl between Nebraska and Georgia. I'm going with Georgia. I'm also going with Georgia. I think they should have beaten Alabama. I was actually rooting for them to beat Alabama because I hate Alabama in the uh, SEC championship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, I think Georgia's definitely going to beat Nebraska. I mean, the SEC has been overpowering. Yeah, Georgia's a yeah. really good team. Yeah. Uh, the Cotton Bowl, Oklahoma. And Texas A&M, I'm going with Texas A&M. I'm also going with Texas A&M. I think that's going to be unanimous yep. that's gonna the be... country with Johnny Manziel, oh, yeah. Heisman winner, in my opinion. That's going to be a pretty good win. That's going to be really good for him. It Freshman, will be. First year winning a bowl, BCS bowl. And who knows if he's going to yeah. come back for next season. Maybe they can make a national championship. <laughs> if they do, he'll win the Heisman twice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now the most important BCS National Championship. I, and I, I think we both yeah. agree who's going to win so here. So, I'm going to go Let's with... say it on three. One, two, three. Alabama. Notre Dame. All right. No. <laughs> Alabama, obviously. Because, Not at all. No. A.J. McCarron, powerhouse. I mean, I know he wasn't... He was a Heisman ranking. He was a Heisman candidate. Um, That's not going to happen, but I still think that he's a solid player. He's got uh Kenny Bell to throw to, who is a really good wide receiver. No, I think Notre Dame has the best defense in the country, and they'll be able to shut that down, especially with the Heisman candidate, Manti Teo. Mm. He's impressed yeah. me all season. Notre Dame, I mean, they've had some close games, but no matter what, they've been able to come out of these games. I mean, I know Notre Dame, Manti Teo, mm, candidate for Heisman, but Alabama won it last year. They uh, they had a really good season last year, and they've had a really good season this year. And I think they're going to go uh, two times. I mean, I guess you can make the argument that Alabama has more experience, but Notre Dame has been a more historic franchise, in my opinion. Mm. Like, yeah. I mean, they're used to, like, huge games like this. I mean, they usually, like, the past decade or so, they haven't been yeah. the best. Like, they've always started as a huge team, hopeful, mm. uh, championship hopeful, but they've always sort of went downhill. Yeah. And now I think they'll be able to drive yeah. through and the kill only, Alabama. I think the only thing that Notre Dame has above... Alabama is the fact that Monty Teo and that Notre Dame has gone undefeated this year. But. That's true, but yeah. you have to think, like, Notre Dame has a pretty tough schedule. I mean, Alabama coming from the SEC is a huge, like, SEC is a huge conference, but yeah. Notre Dame is definitely going to prevail. Notre Dame, can, I think it's time for the SEC's run to end. Mm. Notre Dame. Alabama. National champions. Two-time champions. Notre well, Dame, who knows how yeah. many championships they have. We'll the Titan Irish are going to win it. I wish I had their mascot. We'll just I have could to, wear it. We'll just have to wait and see <laughs> who's going to prevail and take that championship. It will be Notre Dame. Yeah, it will be Alabama. And I guess that's going to do it for this special week of Primetime Sports Weekly. Yep. We'll see you next week with, another, with an actual regular episode of yeah. sports news and stuff. The phone's going off right now, and yeah, I think it's time we to end it. this. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you next week. Have a good week.